four guys in a car review with the 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Longest car name in the world. No, I think it's it's not too bad. The eight stands for great. <laughs> the eight stands for really fast. Oh, it sounds really good. I was going to talk about the cylinder deactivation, but uh, <laughs> that is a 465 horsepower V8 Hemi horse. The neat thing about this is that this generation has more horsepower. It's something like 30 more horsepower, but it's actually more efficient too. Um, and rumor has it that this truck has the, the best braking ability in the category. <laughs> it's a fact! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> to talk to health and yeah, safety. It breaks pretty, well. <laughs> pretty good for a truck. <laughs> Excuse I'm me while I pick my spleen up off the floor. So I've been driving this for four days and what I found is the truck is is really a complete performance package. It's got the brakes, it's got the suspension, it's got lots of power, the transmission shifts smoothly, downshifts when you want it to. Um, like around corners it's amazing for a big SUV. It doesn't seem to lean at all. No, that's the thing. But you also pay for it in the ride because on rough roads, this thing bounces around. It's like it's like riding in a rodeo. Did you notice? I drove it for a couple of days last week as well, and it has paddle shifters, which is a neat feature. But it doesn't have rev matching. So if yes. you're really hauling and you or you want to and you downshift, you get this real sort of jerking motion for the transmission, and it kind of spoiled it a little bit. Otherwise, I think it's. It's perfect. Yeah. So uh, this SRT8 is fifty-five thousand dollars to start, which undercuts the main rivals from Mercedes-Benz, BMW, uh, Land Rover, uh, Porsche. By, yeah, Porsche. Importantly, right. Porsche, the Cayenne, yes, by by quite a margin. But uh, what would you notice over standard Cherokee? Um, the carbon fiber trim is unique inside. Uh, the That's, steering wheel as well. I mean, this yeah. is specific to SRT. Yeah, the seats which actually say SRT on them and are quite comfortable. I like the fact that the uh, the leather doesn't extend to where you actually sit, so you've got a bit of grip. This SRT, too, is not as uh, outlandish looking as the first generation SRT Grand Cherokee. It had those dual center exhausts, and it seems like a much more subtle truck. It seems like the guys, when you're out driving around, guys who know what it is will kind of roll up next to you and give you, you know, the, the old tip of the hat, and other right. people just think it's a Cherokee. It's nice to see an American car company making real efforts in their performance cars. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's real carbon fiber. It's a genuine V8 engine with lots of power, real Brembo brakes, real yeah. properly sorted suspension. It was. It's not just, yeah. hey, let's stick an SRT badge on it and charge 20 grand more for it. No, yeah, this, this is an authentic performance as you did. I well, the other thing that is worth mentioning is that we had this thing out on Friday afternoon versus uh, a Land Rover Sport uh, Range Rover Sport and a BMW X6M and even though those cars are double or more the price of this this thing really held its own against them which we thought was really quite impressive I mean talk about the old you know performance for your performance for the dollar it's uh, it's right up there yeah they, they, as a performance SUV this is this does everything right there's there's very little other than these the way the shifters work the mm. manual shifters I think it handles great it delivers power well brakes fantastically so it's not bad in that regard but it's a little over the top as an SUV mm. all right so for the money would you buy it over its competitors right without question without right. reservation absolutely 